Hey guys, Wubo here, and we recently just got the Zetsubu no Shima gameplay trailer. So today, I'm going to be breaking it down, showing you guys all the new stuff, and a few things you guys may have missed out throughout watching this trailer. So I'm going to put a link in the description to watch the whole trailer itself, but this is going to be a full-blown gameplay trailer breakdown. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to my channel for the daily Black Ops 3 Zombies videos, and let's get into the breakdown. So the trailer starts off with our four main characters floating on the boat. It uh, starts off from where it left off from the intro cutscene. Then we get a little bit of a glimpse of a few, you know, plants. Looks pretty decent. And then we see the first kind of snippet of the map itself. We see a few buildings, a few plants, and that's pretty much it. We then see four pillars. It looks like a broken down temple with the Apothecan language on it. Uh, the Apothecan language is used by the, you know, keepers and stuff in like Shadows of Evil. So it's good that that's coming back to Zesabu no Shima. So the next scene we get is of this lab, and it looks like they are holding a few prisoners in there. Um, some people are saying there's a older Takio in there, or a former self Takio. I don't know what it is so far, but it looks like you've got a decent amount of prisoners in there. We can also see a gun on the wall. I have no idea what gun it is from looking at it now, but it looks like a wall buy. And now we get our first glimpse of the brand new zombie. So they've changed up the zombies. In the giant, you'd have the simple one kind of looking like a Nazi zombie. And in Zetsubo Nushima, we have this new one that looks like a swamp zombie. So it looks like he's climbing out of the swamp and uh, he's looking very much like a Shinonuma type of zombie. And here you can see some more zombies. Now, if you look above its head, you will see a working zip line. Now, zip lines are coming back in Zetsubu no Shimo, which is really good. It's going to be a new mode of transport for Black Ops 3 zombies. Personally, I think these zombies look really cool in Zetsubu no Shima. As uh, Jason Blundell said, it's going to be more of a darker, more scarier map like Mob of the Dead, so I like it how they're making the zombies look a little bit more scarier. And now we get our first glimpse of the four main characters, and as you can see, Takio's in lead, as because this DLC is centered around Takio, and it makes sense for him to be, uh, you know, showing the other three characters where to go and what to do. Now this scene here is very cool, because you see that these little vines just open, and electricity goes everywhere. Now I think this is one of the barriers you open. If you're into Ryzen Track and you go up to a barrier to open, it is covered in like this blue 115. Maybe this is something similar when you go up to a barrier or a vine and it opens, electricity comes out. I have no idea, it just looks really cool. We then see some more scenes of a few zombies. And in this scene, if you look closely, we can see that the MX Grand is in DLC. Two. Now I'm just going to put out here that I will be covering the weapons in this video. This is the MX Grand, you can get it in a supply drop in multiplayer, but it looks like it's going to be coming into Zombies for DLC 2, which is really cool. Apparently it's a decently good weapon, I'm not a big multiplayer fan, but you know, at least they're adding new guns into Zombies. Now in this frame you can see that there's Nikolai and Dempsey, and they're behind something that looks like uh, a room you would come out of. Now you see this little green light, now I'm thinking this is what happens when you turn the power on, you have a door that opens. Same with the Ryzen Drake, if you turn the power on, you're allowed to go around the whole map uh, unless you actually have to buy barriers. So maybe it's the exact same as that, or maybe I'm wrong, that's just what I think personally. Now we get this little snippet of what looks to be a spider web. Now there's cocoons if you can see, and what looks like inside it may be either prisoners, maybe infected zombies, or just zombies in general. We don't know what they are, but they're cocoons, and it looks like it has some type of human life form in it. We just see cocoons, and we think it may be like some kind of human, but if you can see on the ground, there is these little blue glowing things on the ground, if you can see those, it looks like it is infested with 115. Element 115 is the, uh, you know, the thing they use to make the wonder weapons in Black Ops 3 Zombies and in previous games. Now in this scene, we can see that we have another weapon coming to the DLC, and that weapon is the HG-40. Now that weapon is the remastered MP40 from like Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 if you count it being in Origins. We see this gun throughout the gameplay trailer a lot. Now hopefully this gun is a wall buy as the MP40 was a wall buy on Origins. It was a wall buy on Kino de Toten in Black Ops 1. Hopefully 
when it's in Zetsubu no Shima, this weapon will be a wall by as I want it to be a really good point hoarder. Now this scene is really interesting because you can see that there's a plant and it's grabbing zombies with its like claw or like stinger. And what I think of this at the start, it was just going to be a normal trap. We can go and hit it up if we're going to train. But now that I think of it, I think it's going to be something like in Derizon Drag where you actually have to go and feed the dragon a soul. It's going to be the exact same, but maybe with plants. Maybe that's how we get the wonder weapon. We don't know uh, in the gameplay. We actually don't get any wonder weapon um, gameplay. But this could be a thing that we get, like how we got the Wrath of the Ancients. Maybe we can get a katana type weapon. We don't know yet, but um, that's just what I think about it with this little trap or maybe Soul Eater. I have no idea what to call it. So now we're getting a little bit of gameplay of the Mystery Box. Uh, they haven't changed it up. It's the same as it was in the Giant and Horizon Drac. Pretty simple, pretty sweet and just really just normal to look at. I mean, we know our mystery box by now. In this scene, we see that Dempsey is holding a death machine, so that means that the death machine drop will be in this map. They added the drop before Derizon Drag came out, and it is all in, uh, you know, the previous maps, which is Shadows of Evil and the Giant, so Death Machine will be coming back. We now see Takio holding the HG40, which is, as I said before, the MP40 remastered. We see a few characters throughout the gameplay actually using this weapon, so I'm pretty certain that this might be a wall buy. Now in this scene, we see that the plane is going to crash down. Now I think this is something to do with the Easter egg, as in Horizon Drag, we had to call down Dempsey. Maybe we have to call down a plane, maybe we have to shoot a plane, but what we can see is a plane is about to crash land. And this thing I'm about to show you now is the brand new trap they're going to be adding to Zetsubu no Shima. So this trap is, you probably go and activate it, and it spins around like a propeller. As you can see, it looks like something you would get off a plane, and the propellers would spin around and chop zombies' heads off and maul them, and the zombies would just die. It looks amazing. I mean, just look at the gameplay. It just looks incredibly, like, you know, disastrous. Looks like it's going to do a lot of work, and I would hate to actually walk under this because I'm pretty sure it's going to knock off my head too. So that's the trap, and now we can see that the monkey bombs will be returning. Now, they were in the giant Derizon Drac and uh, Zetsubu no Shima. They were not actually in uh, Shadows of Evil. They had their own abbreviation of them. Uh, they had, like, little Arnies, which were, like, little squids, which were pretty cool. But it's good that the monkey bombs will be returning. Now, the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this little slide. Now, this slide looks pretty amazing. It reminds me of uh, Shangri-La. We could use the slide to slide down into the water. It looks like that. It looks pretty fun. I can't wait to actually go and slide down there. And this next scene actually shows you going underwater. And that is right. We can actually swim underwater now in uh, Black Ops 3 Zombies. Uh, we've been getting a lot of speculation about it. And yes, it is confirmed. We can actually swim underwater on this map. And we get our first glimpse of Juggernog. And the next thing I'm going to be showing you is another DLC weapon that will be coming into Zombies. And this weapon is called the Marshall 16 Shotgun Pistol. Now, it is a Kimbo in the game play and as you can see he shoots a zombie and it gets a drop and that drop is a death machine but if you keep looking closer you can see that there's another one and it looks like a puffer fish now if you remember from shadows of evil or derizon drag if you were hit by a zombie by using widow's wine they would drop these little spiders maybe this is something to do with a new perk on the map in this scene we can see that we're getting another trap which is an aeroplane propeller if zombies walk by it they get sucked in and they get destroyed by this propeller. And finally, we get our first glimpse at the spiders. Now, the spiders will probably be replacing hellhounds um, in this map, not for Black Ops 3 Zombies in general, just in this map, the spiders might be replacing the hellhounds, which the spiders look really creepy. I like it how they're bringing in a new kind of boss rounds to this. I mean, adding spiders to a swamp map is just amazing. And now we get this scene where we are going underwater. Our four characters are going underwater and we're killing zombies. That means we can shoot underwater now. That's pretty cool. I just thought I'd throw that out there that that's going to be a really cool thing. So that means, yes, it is confirmed. We can shoot underwater. We can shoot zombies underwater. And the last scene, you can see that there's a zombie on fire and he gets sucked up into the ground and comes up as a big zombie boss. This is the big zombie boss we're going to be having throughout Zet Tsubu no Shima, and I have heard that you've actually got to shoot the uh, you know, you know little pus things on his chest or on his body, and that's a way to actually kill him. Now, what I've heard from other people's videos, that does regenerate, so you're going to want to do that as quick as possible. But that is the trailer breakdown 
for the Black Ops 3 Zombies map, Zetsubu no Shima. Personally, I think this map is going to be amazing. I can't wait to cover it all, you know, do tips and tricks, tutorials, and live gameplays on my channel. So it's going to be amazing. It comes out in a week, so you don't want to miss out for that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for all the Zetsubu no Shima gameplays, tips and tricks, and tutorials. I'll be covering as much things as possible, so you don't want to miss out for that. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to smash a like on it. It shows you guys really support my videos. And that's pretty much it. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.